sad note. Even though nations have advanced in planning, huge gaps still exist in finance for developing countries and bringing adaptation projects to the stage where they bring real protection against climate impacts such as droughts, floods, and sea level rise. Public finance can never finance this alone. This is where we, under the Dutch Fund for Climate and Development, DFCD, come in. The Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs has made available 160 million euros to increase the resilience of communities and ecosystems most vulnerable to climate change. My name is Nachila Lankombo. I'm the country director for the Worldwide Fund for Nature in Zambia. Uh, so the DFCD um, is a response to the significant impacts of climate change. It was launched in 2019. Uh, the DFCD's main role is to provide the technical assistance to private sector-led uh, uh, businesses who would like to, to, to undertake the transformation into greener and more climate-smart businesses. And then also it provides the actual investment capital uh, to realize the objectives of projects that are established to be bankable and delivering on three main returns. Firstly, it looks at delivering um, environmental outcomes, so the project has to be good for the planet. It also looks at supporting these companies to grow, so it has to deliver profit and has to be commercially viable. And thirdly, it has to deliver some social development outcomes namely it has to make a difference in the lives of the communities around where this project is implemented it has to create jobs it has to improve uh, social uh, amenities the dfcd focuses on several high impact investment themes including climate resilient water systems water management and freshwater ecosystems forestry climate smart agriculture and restoration of ecosystems to protect the environment We've been able as WF Zambia to identify a range of potential uh, green projects. So the first example um, is, a, is a bankable project that is led by the Kalea Smallholder Corporation. This is linked to the Zambia Sugar uh, Company and basically it runs sugarcane plantations. They've applied for financial support. Uh, for project development to the tune of 180,000 euros that is enabling them to, to frame a new business model where they transition from less efficient ways of using water in climate impacted kefir flats to a more efficient way of using water for their agriculture activities. That, is me that means moving from flood irrigation uh, to drip irrigation and for that project we're looking at investment coming in uh, to the tune of five million dollars. The DFCD offers early stage grants to support companies in designing and developing their climate adaptation project and make them investment ready for investors. Uh, the directors are very impressed with the, uh, the support we are receiving from DFCD. They are impressed with the technical uh, assist assistance and support we are receiving from WWF Zambia. And they are also appreciative of the grant itself uh, that is being used to carry out these assessments. Uh, as you know, we can't wait to actually um, uh, transition from um, the current irrigation system, which is wasteful and has a negative impact on the environment, to a much more uh, greener and climate-friendly irrigation system, which in this case is the drip irrigation system. So we anticipate that we'll see some, some, some leveraging in terms of power, we'll see some, some leveraging in terms of uh, um, labor as well. Uh, right now we employ a lot of people to carry out irrigation uh, in the field today and we saw how that it takes about two weeks to complete a field. Uh, with the drip irrigation, we basically complete a field, um, irrigating a field in a day. Of course, there will be other benefits to the community as well. So if the company benefits from these efficiencies, uh, we'll be able to plow back money into the community and ensure that we also are able to uh, find, fund our corporate social responsibility activities. The DFCD landscape approach takes a holistic perspective, ensuring local community and ecosystems needs are addressed in an integrated manner. 
The second project that has benefited from DOCD, and again, we expect it to have large uh, impacts on this ecosystem, the Kafir floods that's heavily impacted by climate change, is the partnership uh, with FMO to create uh, the Mazabuka Resilient uh, Fund. Again, the Mazabuka Resilient Fund is, is, is a fund that has been enabled with uh, over 300,000 euros to design the fund that will make funding available to a range uh, to thousands of, of, of small holder farmers, again, to help them make the transition from uh, the traditional practices of agriculture to more uh, climate smart and climate resilient agriculture. And again, with, uh, uh, with the MRF, we're looking at working with Zambia Sugar to build a fund that's worth 30 uh, million euros, which we believe is going to be key to transforming this landscape that is economically significant into one that is uh, climate uh, resilient. We are so excited that WWF has agreed through our MOU. We've started some aggressive projects around converting our irrigation systems to less water efficient systems such as the furrow irrigation to drip irrigation. This we've already embarked on and through uh, financing from MRIF. We hope that we'll be able to tap into this and ensure that we are able to expand on some of these projects. Our DFCD provides an opportunity for companies to plan ahead in terms of how they will minimize the impact of, of climate change and prepare for more sustainable future as, as, as businesses. So we are inviting other companies that are heavily dependent on nature and are heavily affected uh, by climate change to apply for uh, technical support and for funding for them to be able to not only grow their operations but also help them better manage the, the risk that's posed to climate change. You have an opportunity to partner with WWF under the DFCD for you to access the support to help you become ready for a more greener and prosperous and climate smart future. Thank you.